Hello everybody, this is Mark and welcome to my channel where I like to talk about anything Kerbal. And in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about customizing your flags for your vehicles and your vehicle assembly buildings. Now, if you're new to Kerbal Space Program or you're a veteran, you all know that when you start a game, they give you the option to choose a flag from the very beginning. And if you're like me, you forget to choose it and you're stuck with the stock flag or the default flag. The good news is that if that is the case, at any point in time, you can go inside the vehicle assembly building where you can change it. And let's go ahead and go in in there right now so here we are in the vehicle assembly building and you can see we have nothing chosen so far and where you see the title bar where your craft's name would be right to the right of it is your mission flag which is what we're going to be changing right now we can't do that until we bring up a piece uh, or a part or a hull that has that is part of its texture so let's go ahead and pull in the mark two inline cockpit as you can see it has the default flag on it the kerbal space program flag and of course the flag is hanging proudly on the wall of the vehicle assembly building well if you don't care about personalizing it you can always change it by going and clicking on that and go ahead and pick any flag you want i'm going to go ahead and pick the uh, squad flag i mean there are tons of them here that you can choose from hit accept and of course the flag is going to change on the wall and any part that has its flag is part of its texture but what i want to show you today is how you can personalize that so let's go ahead and do that right now so in order to create your flag, your own personal flag, you could probably use any program you like. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm just going to use uh, Microsoft Paint here since it comes with uh, the computer. Um, and we've got our template here and don't worry about the size or whatever. We'll take care of that later. Let's just go ahead and create a simple flag here. I don't know. Let's, uh, I don't know. Let's just, I don't know, pick an oval. And inside of that oval, let's just put an arrow. I don't know. Again, just going to make this very simple, very basic, just for an image that will protect you know act as our flag let's fill this in with a little bit of color so i don't know let's pick orange for the oval i'm gonna fill that here boom and i don't know let's get real ugly here let's uh i don't know let's put blue in for the arrow boom or purple whatever you want to call it so i'm not even going to save this what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and select all and i'm going to make sure that i copy that now that is going to be something I'm going to uh, import into a program. And uh, that program is called GIMP. Let me show you a little bit about that right now. So we have our image copied from uh, Microsoft Paint. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it into a program called GIMP. Now GIMP is a free program that you can download off the internet. I will provide a link in the description below. Um, it works on either PC or Mac. And uh, it's very much like Adobe Photoshop there is a bit of a learning curve but uh, the features I'm going to show you are primarily just to have the right size dimensions and file format in order to bring it into the game now I'm sure that there are plenty of other ways to do this but this is the way that uh, I, I figured out how to do it very simple way to do it and you also have a free program that you can tinker with also later so now that we have GIMP installed or maybe you already had it um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the program and we're gonna bring in the image that we copied from Microsoft Paint. So once you open up the program, you're going to go to File, Choose New, and you're going to see that it asks for a width and a height here, which is very, very important because in order to bring it into uh, Kerbal Space Program, the width has to be 256 and the height has to be 160 pixels. Hit Enter. Okay. So now we have our working space here. We can make it bigger by either hitting shift plus, 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 and holding the shift button down or hitting the minus, minus, minus and bringing it down. What we're going to do is we're going to keep it small like this because when we bring in our image, it's going to be way too big for this and we're going to have to scale it down. And when we scale it, we're going to lose the image um, uh, up in the up, upper left-hand corner. And it's going to be so much easier to work with it like this. So seeing as we've copied it, if I just hit right click and then edit and then paste, Control V, which is the usual hotkey for pasting things. You can use that as well. There's the image that we made, and you can see the image we needed to, you know, the image needs to fit inside of the center box, and the image that we brought in is ginormous. Now, the scale that we copied is not going to be in proportion to 256 by 160, so what we're going to do is we're going to scale it down. So you can either hit Shift S or go to Tools, Transform, Scale. 
and there's our entire image we need to get that inside of that square box now when you go up here into your scale we can go ahead and type in the 256 by uh, 160 the problem is though is this object is not in that proportion so what we're going to do is we're going to keep this little link here right between them you see it's like a chain link you're going to keep it like that if i do that and break it and i type it in when i type in 256 by 160 this thing is going to get squished it's not going to look the same so we're going to make sure that that is still linked and what we're going to do is we're going to just type in 256 and hit enter now you can see it's all the way over here so i need to kind of drag it over and notice it, notice the scale changed a little bit here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it in the middle here and i'm going to type in 256 again and there's the image in its proper proportion oops 256 i keep changing it i gotta grab the little box in the middle now if we want to make it bigger here now notice 256 by 108 this proportion is locked so that it keeps the image the same way that it looked when we made it if we just grab one of these corners we can now make it any as big as we want so long as the image stays inside of that rectangle this program will only recognize what's inside of the box that we created 256 by 160. once i have it set to the way i want it i'm going to hit scale and boom there's my image okay so we're going to save it now in the format that is recognized by GIMP. So I'm going to go to File, Save, and go ahead and pick where you want to save it. I usually, I have one thing here just for Kerbal Space. Um, it's an XCF file. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it uh, Test Flag, let's say. Um, yep, so we're going to go ahead and title that Test Flag. And hit enter and it says I already have there I've done this a few times so I'm just gonna replace it boom now we have it now this is not the file format that we're gonna bring it into Kerbal space we need to export it as a PNG so if I go to file export as you'll see my test flag is there it's recognized as a PNG you're probably gonna have to change it I've done this so much that it kind of anticipates that for me so I go down here where it says select file type by extension click on that and you have all these different extensions that you can export it as but seeing as we want png you can see it's right here as long as i have that clicked and i titled it the way i want and i put it where i need it to go which again is going to be in my curable space folder it's going to be called test flag png i'm going to go ahead and export and then it's going to ask me to export it again i'm going to hit export and there we go it's done so that's one way to create your flag okay Another way is if you don't want to design your flag, if there's a flag out there you like, you can go ahead and kind of snip it or make a copy of it. And that's what I want to show you how to do right now. Okay, so let's say you don't want to make your own flag. Let's say there's one on the internet or it is an idea of something that you'd like to do and you want to just make a quick snip of it. So what we could do is we, you know, you, have, you found a flag. Let's say you found SpaceX here. And let's say we want to copy this flag and make it our own flag inside of Kerbal. Kind of makes sense, right? With SpaceX being as popular as it is now. So what I like to use is the snip tool on Microsoft. I don't know what the equivalent is in Mac, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll find it. I'm going to bring this up so if you go to your you know if you go to your your start menu and you type in snip the snipping tool will pop up right for microsoft you're going to click new and right here mode i'm going to keep it as rectangle so i'm going to hit new and it allows me to now just literally snip the picture i want and so boom there's my spacex folder okay so now once i've snipped it what i want to do is i want to copy it it's important that you copy it right because we're going to bring this into gimp as well using the same dimensions so i'm going to minimize that minimize that let's open up gimp again and we're going to start a whole new project from before so we're going to go ahead and remember the dimension is going to be 256 by 160 so we're going to hit okay and there it is again now you can see our original project is up there we can kind of click on that and get rid of it it doesn't matter but here's our new project anyway right click edit paste or control v and once again you can see we have our image ready to be resized so remember i told you the hot key this time was shift s for scale and you can you can either type it in or in this case you can just use the corners here and drag it down till it's the size you need it to be to fit inside of the box now you remember um 
if you don't have that link connected up here, you're going to change the perspective, of the ratio, uh, and it's going to it's going to squish and do weird things and deform. So I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger, and I'm going to have it spill over just. I want to make sure that SpaceX is centered. So I might have to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller here, tweak it a bit. That X needs to, I want that little swish of the X in there. So there we go. I think I have it. Let's kind of scale it and see what happens. That looks, that looks pretty good. But you know what? It looks like it's not, if I do shift plus plus, you can see the bottom looks like it's going to be a bit white. So let me go shift S again. And let's make sure that the bottom gets covered so again as long as your image is inside of the box you're fine so i'm going to go ahead and hit scale boom there's our spacex folder so again i'm going to save that as in the, in the folder you want there's my kerbal space i'm going to call that spacex hit enter uh, i've done it before so we're going to replace it and now we're going to export it as a png so again once you do that, it's, it's going to keep this file name. Make sure you go into the file where you're going to save it as and make sure you go to select file, go to PNG, wherever that is down here, right? So we're going to pick that PNG, make sure it's there, and then we're going to go ahead and hit export. Export again, and it should be there. So here's the test now. How do we get this thing into Kerbal Space so we can have our own flag? So let's take a look at that. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get these images from where they are right now into the appropriate location in the Kerbal Space Program file so they can be recognized so we can use them. Um, one, you need to find out where your game files are located. Um, one fast way is if you are a Steam user, um, you go to your Kerbal Space Program in your menu there and you right click it, go to Properties, and then when you do that, you're going to have a general window pop up. We want to go to local files, click on that, hit browse. And as soon as we do that, we have the location of Kerbal Space. OK, so you look down here, there's all your Kerbal Space stuff. What we want to look for is we want to look for game data. Where is our game data? There it is. Third one down and double click on that. You're going to look for the file that says squad, you click on that. And then if you look at that, you have your flags. Now you have three options. If you recognized it before, you can, <laughs> there are three categories of flags. They have them separated as just regular flags, agency flags, and flag organizations. They're just special designations. You could put it into any one you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my file. So I'm going to go to where I'm going to kind of right click on where my objects are. I'm going to open up in a different window here. So open in a new window. I'm going to kind of make that a little smaller. Where are they? They are uh, right here in Kerbal Space. OK, so my images should be in here. There's my flag and there's my SpaceX folder. So what I can do now is I'm going to right click going to kind of minimize that a little bit here so we don't lose it so i'm going to right click on i don't know let's put it into agencies okay so we're going to double click on that there's the agency flags that you would have noticed were an option you can see there's my personalized flag there as well so i'm just going to click and drag my fold my files into there my two flags boom and they're good to go so the next thing we need to do is to launch herbal space program Okay, now we have our um, flags in the right spot for this. Keep in mind, though, unless you've restarted the game, the flags will not have been loaded into the proper space. So make sure you shut down Kerbal Space Program and restart it so that those flags can be reloaded. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the game. And I'm going to choose New. And notice it gives us our start here. We can do career mode, sandbox, whatever. So I'm just going to choose career mode. And I'm going to call it, I don't know, new flags. New flag. Just to give it a name. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and 
click on the flag here. Now, when I click on this, I can either keep that, but if we go up here where we put it in the, the folder space agencies, you can see there's my personally customized one. And then there's the two flags we just created. The one that we kind of used the snipping tool for and the one that we created on Microsoft Word. So let's say we like the orange oval with the <laughs> purple or uh, violet arrow. So I'm going to select that. Not very pretty, but it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and start that. And when we get into the game, we're going to go right to the vehicle assembly building. Get rid of this. And you're going to see nothing yet until, well, you can see actually right away that above here where you normally have, you can see your mission flag is actually that, uh, the one we chose. So if we bring in a vehicle, choose the, uh, the MK1 pod here, you can see there's our flag the one we created with Microsoft Paint, and there's the flag on the wall as well. But again, not a very pretty one. Let's go ahead and change that to the SpaceX flag. So it's gonna be up there where we put it in the folder called Space Agencies. I'm gonna choose that and accept. And sure enough, it changes it to the SpaceX flag. So again, you have the ability to create any flags you want, even cut, cut and paste them from the internet, whatever you want to do to customize your game play, which is nice. Um, hopefully you learned a little something and hopefully um, you can use this. Uh, if not, oh well, maybe you learned something anyway. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your patience. And if you did learn anything or didn't mind it so much, by all means, feel free to hit the like button, maybe subscribe. Uh, but I enjoy making these vi videos. If there are any comments or concerns or any questions you have, please just leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Till next time. This is Mark signing off. Bye-bye.